So we have had a new silent product release from Apple. It's the MagSafe battery pack and that is the one I have here on my screen. So let's look at it and see what we have so we can get a good knowledge of what is this new product that Apple has released. Let's look at the price, the availability, what you get in the box, the capacity, the dimensions, and what competitors we have to these new Apple MagSafe battery pack. It comes at $99 or $825 for 12 months installments if you pay by the Apple card. And that is to compare with the Apple Smart Case that is actually $129 for iPhone 12. When it comes to the availability, it says five to seven business days, and that it's not available for pickup at any Apple store currently but I mean that was how it was for the Apple AirTag as well it said that you could pre-order it and it wasn't available but when it was suddenly available you could pick it up in the store earlier than you got it shipped when you pre-ordered so if you would like to get it fast on pre-order maybe go to the Apple store when it's released but if that is not the case I've already ordered one so make sure to subscribe so you can get the first review when I get that one in my hands so what about the capacity and the performance of this battery pack let's scroll down to see if they write anything in the product information it doesn't say anything about the capacity here it says that you need a lighting cable so that means that it's no USB-C connector on these products it's pretty obvious because you don't have a USB-C on your iPhone so why should you have two different cables and a recommended charger should be 20 watts or higher and as expected you can track the status of your charge on the lock screen and I mean, that is what you expect. That's how it is seems way back even when this battery case was released from Apple. Then you can also see the charge of this case in in the phone. So what about that capacity? Well, it doesn't say anything in the description, but if we go up and take a look at this image and zoom in at the bottom here, we can actually see that it says that it has a 1,460 milliamps capacity. So how much is that? I mean, let's compare this battery capacity with the batteries that are in the different iPhone 12s that this battery is actually compatible with. So I went to Tom's guide to check the capacity of the built-in batteries in these phones, and we can read that the 12 mini has the smallest battery with 2,227 milliamps. The iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 Pro has the same battery, 2,850 milliamps, and for the 12 Pro Max, it says 3,687. And well, it sounds much, but I have that one, and I always run out of battery around six, seven o'clock in the evening every night, so I need to plug it in to top it up so I can use it for the rest of the day. So what about the dimensions of the actual battery? Well, that doesn't say either on Apple's website, big surprise. But if we go back to the images again, if we look at this image, we can see that it's exactly the same width as the iPhone 12 mini. And the iPhone 12 mini is 64.2 millimeters wide or 2.53 inches wide. So then we know the width of the battery. And if we take a look at the height, I don't have any of those phones, but I have this one. And if I measure how the battery actually looks on the phone, it starts down here and goes up to just the bottom of that top volume button. So that would be about nine and a half centimeters or three and three quarters inch. It's almost like the little bump you have on this battery case and if we take a look how high that one was that was 10 and a half centimeters so they have reduced the height of, with about one centimeter compared to these battery case so what about alternatives to this apple branded battery pack well on anchor you actually have or from anchor you actually have this power core magnetic 5k battery that is as you can see here, it's pretty bulky actually, but that only says MagSafe compatible. It doesn't say MagSafe official or MagSafe, it's just compatible. So we don't really know how well it performs together with the iPhone compared to the Apple 
extra battery. But if we look at the capacity of this battery, where do we have it? Here we have it. It has 5,000 milliamps capacity compared to 1,460. So that's a significantly bigger battery. And you can see that on the visuals also, it looks a lot bulkier. And for me, I don't need that much battery on mine because I know that I it lasts for almost a full day. So I just need to top it up a little bit at the end of the day. But the price of the anchor is just $45.99 or on Amazon, it's $46. And I'm gonna drop links to all of these products in the description box below for your convenience and I believe there is also another difference if you look at this battery it looks pretty much plastic the old plastic that you're used to but when you look at the battery from Apple where did the mouse go it looks like it's almost the same material that it was on this battery case and this was a little rubberized material that I mean it had a good grip on it and but it could also get stuck in your pocket a little bit when you got it, it should take it up but I personally like that one so do you want to go with a premium Apple MagSafe battery pack for $99 or do you're gonna go for the cheaper higher capacity anchor MagSafe compatible battery pack well Tell me in the comment box below. I can't wait to hear your decision and your thoughts about this. Personally, I like the design and the look of the Apple battery pack and I know that I don't need more for this battery or for this phone to last me the entire day. So that's all for this. Over and out from Sweden. Bye.